Alright, this is for the technologically impaired uh, who cannot install and set up soundboard for TeamSpeak 3. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the website, uh, which is linked. You're going to go over to download now. and You're going to pick the correct build. It's either going to be for Strida. It's either going to be Windows 32 or 64. Most likely it's going to be 64 build. Uh, obviously download the appropriate build for you. So download the build, install it, or it has a little handy installer um, and installs perfectly fine. Next thing you're going to do is open up your TeamSpeak uh, client. You're going to go into settings, plugins, and you're going to check the box right here that says soundboard. Um, you're going to click settings. You're going to have make sure that send audio to channel is checked and play audio locally is checked. Uh, additionally, you want the bottom display on startup checked, and you can click on this show button here and then get out of that and close this as well. That will bring up your soundboard, this beautiful thing, which we'll get to in a little bit. First, we're going to set you up with the push to talk button so you can talk while your music's playing. Uh, you're going to go into settings, options, you're going to click on hotkeys, and we're going to add uh, these two hotkeys again, so um, I'll delete this for now. We're going to add this little window is going to come up. We're going to click on Show Advanced Actions, Plugins, and then you're going to want to do Run Plugin Command. You're going to type in the command slash soundboard push. You're going to have selected on key down. You're going to select your hotkey, which in my case is mouse 4. Click OK. And then you're going to do the same thing and add one for um, slash soundboard release. And I'll show that to you. Add. We're going to set it to on key release. Click show advanced. Click plugins. Run plugin command. And here you're going to double click and type slash soundboard release release because I can't spell release and you're gonna set it to the same hotkey uh, in my case which is mouse 4 click OK click OK here now you're all ready to set up your music now here's the fun part you're gonna come to your buttons and you're gonna click any button you want uh, it can be a blank one it can be the stop button I don't recommend you doing the stop button button but so for example we're going to right click we're going to click um, change file it's gonna bring up your browser you're gonna go over and actually select one of your music um, whatever music you want to play um, for now I'm just gonna select uh, Dota select your mp3 file name it whatever you'd like I'm gonna call this Dota Dash base hunter hunter because that's what I know. Select type, it's gonna be a music, and now you have it done. Now all you have to do is join your connected team speak channel of choice, which is in our case opposition. Click the button and uh, it will broadcast now. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear the music or not, but you will be able to broadcast and talk at the same time without cutting out the music. Then you can click stop whenever you want and the music will slowly fade out. So, thanks for watching and hope this sets you all up.